Hello, this is progression and series lesson 4.1. In this, I will continue with questions on series. Now, these questions are of different type than the questions we discussed in the previous lesson. Now, we need to find the sum of this series given to you. 1 upon 1 cross 2, this is a multiplication. 1 upon 2 into 3, 1 upon 3 into 4. Now, you can see that this series is neither in AP nor in GP because if you multiply this will become 1 by 2 this is 1 by 6 this is 1 by 12 and this is 1 by 100 into 101 now you can't make this in AP or GP now what to do now in all such kind of questions we will convert something like this 1 upon A cross B into K into 1 upon a minus 1 upon b we will try to convert each and every term of this series in this format so that we can add or subtract them and then solve it so how i can write 1 upon 1 cross 2 i can write as 1 minus 1 by 2 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 how so you can see this uh, this term i'm taking if you solve 1 minus 1 by 2 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2. What is the LCM? LCM is 1 into 2. This will be 2. This will be 1. So you are left with 1 upon 1 cross 2. So can I say that in a sense 1 upon 1 cross 2 is same as 1 minus 1 by 2. Same way I can say that 1 upon 2 cross 3. I can write this as 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 because if you take LCM it will be 2 into 3 this will be 3 minus 2 I am left with 1 upon 2 cross 3 same thing so I can say that 1 upon 2 cross 3 is same as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 same way 1 upon 3 cross Four. this is 1 upon 3 minus 1 by 4 and so on this will be 1 by 100 minus 1 by 100 101 1. because you can write this term as this term as 1 by 100 minus 1 by 101 1. if you solve this this will come same because LCM will be 100 into 101 1. this is 101 1 minus 100 again it will be 1 upon 100 cross 101 so I am just rearranging or there is a different way of writing the same thing so this series and the given series is same there is no change only there is a different way of writing the given series and the series I have written below they are same only the difference is difference in the way of writing now how it will help us you can see that half and half will get cancelled out 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 is getting cancelled out same way 1 by 4 the next term will be plus 1 by 4 this 1 by 100 will get also cancelled out so I am only left with 1 minus 1 upon 101 this is take LCM as 101 so this is 101 minus 1 this is 100 upon 101 as your final answer so this kind of question we can solve under a minute only thing is that we must be able to convert 1 upon a cross b in terms in the something of the form k times 1 upon a minus 1 upon b. In this series k was 1. Question number 2 is 1 upon 1 into 3 plus 1 upon 3 into 5 up to 1 upon 99 into 101. Again in all such question we need to convert this 1 upon a cross b format into k times 1 upon a minus 1 upon b kind of format then only we will be able to add and cancel out the terms and we can find the sum can i write this 1 upon 1 cross 3 as 1 minus 1 by 3 as i written in the previous question no because this is 1 by 3 this is 2 by 3 they are not equal so don't try to cram the things every question will be a different methodology to solve how we will solve this what will be 1 minus 1 by 3 I am just making this 
I need to definitely break this in, into this form 1 upon a minus 1 upon b. So what is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3? Can I say that 3 will be the 1 cross 3 will be the LCM. This is 3 minus 1. 2 upon 1 cross 3. It means that 2 upon 1 cross 3 is same as 1 minus 1 by 3. These two are same. Same way, what about 1 upon 3 minus 1 by 5? 3 into 5 will be your LCM. This is 5 minus 3. 2 upon 3 cross 5. It means that if I have 2 upon 3 cross 5, I can write them as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5. These two are same. And same way, 1 upon 99 minus 1 upon 101. If you take 99 into 101 as LCM, this is 101 minus 99, 2 upon 99 into 101. It means if I have 2 in the numerator, then I can break these terms as 1 minus 1 by 3. 2 upon 3 cross 5, I can break as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5. 2 upon 99 into 101, I can break as 1 by 99 into 1 by 101. I don't have 2. What I will do? I will make the 2 because I can do that. What I will do? I will multiply and divide this entire series by 2. I will multiply and divide this entire series by 2. No difference will be there. If you multiply and divide by 2, no difference will come. So how the series will come? 1 by 2 will be common. Multiply this. You will get this series will become 2 upon 1 cross 3, 2 upon 3 cross 5, 2 upon 5 cross 7 up to 2 upon 97 into 99 plus 2 upon 99 into 101. Now you know that this is 1 by 2. Now check from here. This 2 upon 1 by 3 I can write it as 1 minus 1 by 3. This I can write as 1 minus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3. 2 upon 3 cross 5 I can write as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 because I have proved here this is 2 upon 3 cross 5 is same as 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5. This 2 upon 5 cross 7 can be written as 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7. This can be written as 1 by 97 minus 1 by 99. This can be written as 1 by 99 minus 1 by 101. Now you can see that easily we can solve this question 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 would cancel out plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 next term will be plus 1 by 7 this 97 will get cancelled out 99 and 99 also get cancelled out so I'm only left with 1 by 2 1 minus 1 upon 101 solve this you will get 1 by 2 this 100 upon 101 Final answer will be 50 upon 101 will be your final answer. Again, this question will not take more than a minute. Only thing is that uh, you must be able to break 1 upon A cross B format into 1 upon A minus 1 upon B format. Question 3 is 1 upon 7 square minus 3 square plus 1 upon 13 square minus 3 square up to 1 upon 49 square minus 3 square. Now you should pause the video. Try to solve this question yourself by applying your common sense and then the method I discussed in the previous two questions. How I will solve that? I know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So this will become a plus b would be 7 plus 3, 10 into a minus b, 4, 4 into 10 or 10 into 4. This will be 13 square minus 3 square. This is 13 plus 3, 16, 13 minus 3, 10. Same way this will be 19 plus 3, 22. 19 minus 3 this will be 16 and so on this will be 49 plus 3 52 49 minus 3 would be 46 I am just rearranging this this is 1 upon 4 into 10 this 1 upon 10 into 16 this is 1 upon 16 into 22 and this is 1 upon 46 into 52 now this is a similar format to the question 1 and 2. Again we need to break this 1 upon a cross b format into uh, 1 upon a minus 1 upon b. So I will just first calculate what will come 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10. 
can I say this is 4 into 10 this is 10 minus 4 6 upon 4 cross 10 so 6 upon 4 cross 10 is same as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 if I have 6 upon 4 cross 10 I can write this as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 same way what will come 1 by 10 minus 1 by 16 this is 10 into 16 this is 16 minus 10 this is equals to 6 upon 10 into 16 it means that 6 upon 10 into 16 is same as 1 by 10 minus 1 by 16 these two terms are same same way what is 1 by 46 minus 1 by 52 and this is 52 minus 46 this is 6 upon 46 into 52 so can I see that 6 upon 46 into 52 is same as 1 by 46 minus 1 by 52 so it means that if I have 6 as a numerator I can write this in the form of 1 upon a minus 1 upon b so what I will do I will multiply this and, and divide this equation by 6 multiply and divide this equation by 6 so what I will left with I will left with 1 by 6 will be as it is then denominator multiply this is 6 upon 4 into 10 6 upon 10 into 16 this is 6 upon 16 into 22 this is 6 upon 46 into 52 now I can break these terms as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 you can see the 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 is same as 6 upon 4 cos 10 this is 1 by 10 minus 1 by 16 this is 1 by 16 minus 1 by 22 and so on till 1 by 46 minus 1 by 52 now this 1 by 10 and 1 by 10 will get cancelled out minus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 cancel out same this way and this 1 by 46 will also get cancelled out so only left with 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 52 and that you can calculate your answer so this is 1 by 6 52 will be the same this is 13 minus 1 this is 1 by 6 into 12 by 52 this can I see this 2 by 6 2 is a 12 2 by 52 so final answer will be 1 upon 26 so 1 upon 26 will be our final answer so that was all about progression and series lesson 4.1 questions on series in the next lesson I will continue with more questions on the series thank you